All right, for today's fun, we're going to mount a Solark 15K and an eight stack of Pites E-Box batteries. But first, let's get the wall prepared, add insulation, and then add plywood, which I painted a similar steely gray color. And now let the fun begin. We gotta get all these boxes opened. And I'm going to assemble the um, Pites R bracket first to get them all stacked up and then move them four at a time into position. All right, all right. I pre-built the rack in groups of four, and then I put the platform on the bottom, pressure-treated two-by-fours. The last time I used two-by-sixes. In this case, I couldn't probably use two-by-six because I have limited space above. And then I will put a piece of plywood on top, or maybe some aluminum. I have a piece, may not be big enough, but plywood for sure, just to make a shelf here, nice storage area. And then Solark 15K here. So next step is to open all the batteries and slide them into the rack. All right, let's get started. All right, one eight stack Pites battery bank ready to be wired. So you build the rack. Each one of these takes a few minutes. You can do eight of those. I put it on a platform for sweeping and water prevention. And there's a box of cables that need to be plugged in. In my case, I like using the Victron Lynx distributor with fuses. I'll show you what that looks like. So, well, not really. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. It's a four channel combiner with fuses. It's nice. All right, stand by for the next step. Okay, we got that Solar 15 mounted on the wall. Let me pick up this thing before somebody forgets and it's all a nasty thing. So now we're gonna put a gutter, a wire raceway as they call it, underneath here makes more sense to get all this stuff going together and then I'm going to go through the wall out to the grid and so on so 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 like 15k is ginormous it's 11 inches right there to the front and I didn't uh, was not able to get a 12 by 12 by 24 gutter timely I got an 8 by 8 by 24 so I'll have to bust that to gutter out from the wall not a big deal. When I drill my holes, my pipes will come into the gutter from there. So, not a big deal. All right, then I will have the gutter, the raceway, wire raceway, go over to our battery bank where the um, Victron distributors are going to be located. Okay, just wait for the magic to happen. You'll see. Okay, let me mock this up. The inverter is right there at the bottom. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Battery, number six. Then we mount the Victron distributor here. There'll be two of these. And then the battery cable comes out and goes into the gutter. I think that'll be brilliant. So then what do I do about what do I mount it to? have this two by four. I think I'm on a two by six right here. I'm not touching the battery shelf, but just a, a place. And then mount these distributors and that's how we're doing it. So let me get a two by six, stand by. <sighs> Buy a gutter, cut a bunch of holes in it. I mean a bunch. Solar battery cables exit the building. So, it should only take a few more minutes. I think it's been an hour so far. Here, let me push this button. Bloop. There we go. See? It's gonna be nice. Everything will be sort of hidden inside there. So, it's gonna be fine. Okay, end of another day. These gutters are hmm, 
slow and painful. That's what I'll say. Poked all the holes and everything through the wall. Got the Victron distributor pre-mounted. Nothing's wired. Nothing. Okay, rough end complete. Shall we begin tomorrow? Yes, indeed we shall. On to the next step. Take the crimper, the lug box, make some custom 4 aught battery cables. They'll attach to the Victron and go up to the inverter using those fancy two-for-one bus bars. All right, big battery stack. Eight Pites batteries bust together. Ethernet cables, which are actually um, RS-45 or whatever their link is. It might be CAN between them. CAN port out to the Solark there. All the battery cables are routed through the chassis, wrapped around, landing on a fuse block, Victron distributor. Now I would really love to cut these cables to length based on how far they really need to go and then put new lugs on the end. That means I'd have unequal battery cable lengths. But come on, man, if the BMS is really working, it shouldn't matter. They should all balance themselves out. Someday I'll try that. Not today, though. Okay, let me uh, turn it on, get it on the internet, and then proceed with the next step, which is, you know, connecting some wires. All right, the bin will be powered up soon. Okay, let's go through a uh, boot up sequence. Oh, score a moment. I forgot. Did I peel that off? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, I don't, I don't want to leave that on there. It's impossible to take off later. All right, boot up of a Pites battery bank. First is power up. All the batteries. That one. Oh, and I forgot to do the solar arc dip switch. Do that first, and then I'll turn it on. Then you press the start switch on one on the what you would call the master battery. One, two, three. And then it wakes up and it says, Hello, next battery, are you there? And then the second battery will say, Hello, I'm here and turn on and then it'll say hello next battery are you there and so the third battery will turn on and then i will wait till all eight of them come on with no alarms and they'll also indicate their state of charge um, when we get that far along and then um, after that i'll turn on the solar breaker to boot it up all right stand by it'll take a minute or two for the all the batteries to wake up this is how these brackets go on. Get the rail out of the way. There's uh, four screws, self tappers, with rubber washers. There's a peel and stick butyl seal here that goes on the metal. I'm glad that I got an overlap here, which is extra thick. Then slide the bolts down the rail. Bolt through, and then put a nut on this bolt that tightens this rail to this bracket. Tighten this bolt that's down there. Uh, to secure the thing together. Uh, do this 12 times, and that's that. All right, another successful day. All of the Iron Ridge racking is mounted. The first solar panel is on. So let's start again tomorrow. After a day or so, we got all 24 panels mounted. This will be uh, three strings of eight panels in each string, and it lays out quite nice for that. Then we make sure that the uh, polarity of the solar cables is correct, and also a wired up CTs, as you can see there, and bam, swing, fizzle, fizzle, works great. And that's a wrap, a Solark 15K and eight Pites E-Box batteries. It's a wonderful way to trim the electric bill and have emergency power.